Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utam Across Gacha video. But before we dive into the Gacha, let's talk about the current event uh, as it is. So, we all know we've seen this banner before, and we are pretty familiar with that costume that Cheryl is showing off in the event banner itself. And yeah, you're not wrong. This event has occurred before, well, I would say one year ago. <laughs> close to the point of uh, when Uta Macross was just starting out. So, um, why is this event actually import important for both new and old players? Well, let's talk about it uh, in a bit of detail before we move on to the main topic of today, which is the Gacha banner um, for Ranka Lee. Alright, so for new players, it is important that you play this event is because if you have never gotten the episode plates from this event before in the past, because you only just started playing Utah Macross maybe like a few months ago, a few days ago, or you know, uh, you, you kind of messed out on the event when it first started out and you started somewhat later by maybe two or three events after this current event, well, it is the time for you to actually obtain those episode plates again that you've missed out on um, yeah and for older players basically this event is very important to us because this is the event that will grant us our very first episode plate with a plus 20 luck value so if you guys don't know I have already posted up that I've already completed my uh, you know achievement of getting the episode plate with a plus 20 luck value as you can see here I've actually gotten more than that so that's why there is the, the overflow of episode plates at the end here so as you can see it has a plus 20 luck value here with all five lucky leaves filled up so yeah five lucky leaves here so yeah it is very crucial that you try to obtain this, this particular episode plate with a plus 20 luck episode plate um, you know, cause, well, you you won't be able to get a plus 20 episode plate so easily cause in order to obtain a plus 20 uh, luck episode plate, you have to get duplicates of this particular episode plate countless times. And to be honest, it has not been easy to get a plus 14 episode plate. I only just recently got my first plus 14 episode plate from the paid gachas and suddenly they threw out this event so it kind of made my plus 14 episode plate pointless uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys um, yeah so that's kind of a bummer or maybe I should sort it by luck so that you guys can uh, get a quicker look so here you go so this is my highest luck episode plate right now which is from the current event and of course this one which shows uh, Ranka and Elto uh, yeah it's my first Gacha Poot episode plate that has gone beyond plus 13 which is the normal luck rate um, or rather luck value that you will get from the current event style that's going on which is the mission or Kuji style event whichever one you are recognizing it as so yes why it's important for new and old players to play this event do not skip out on it it's basically um, this particular episode plate itself so why is it important well if you guys aren't familiar with the ticketing event that we have just recently um, gone through it is important that you have luck value ep episode plates to help you pull out those tickets for event play purposes so yes it is very crucial besides that fact luck value episode plates are also important when it comes to collecting resources for your episode plates itself so if you guys don't know what i'm talking about you should know full well how episode plates power up so if you go in here and let's say for example okay I, i'll probably have to show you an episode plate um that is not um fully powered up all right so for example just an example like this one if I were to tap the note, you can tell immediately that the that particular note requires resources of these um, two items um, in order to power up the episode plate. So now where do you get these resources from? Basically when you play a live 
and you have episode plates with luck value they give you the chance to um, summon out more golden notes so there's this golden gem in the center of the note and it will produce out these resources for you at random so yeah um, playing lives with episode plate with luck is very crucial to both events and non-events um, you know aside so anyway guys that's how important plates with luck value is if you guys aren't playing uh, or rather if you guys don't know how important it is you probably might want to rethink on how you've been playing all time across because uh, you probably may be ending up wasting time when you could have been using it for um, you know, other things besides playing with time across you know you could have been um, learning new skills and all that stuff I wish I was sponsored by Skillshare or that kind of thing that you hear from you know, other YouTubers out there but I can't make use of this point to promote Skillshare because I have not sponsored by them so <laughs> guys um, yeah that's what I mean um, you could be spending your time uh, your precious time more wisely um, you know besides grinding Utah Macross in the wrong way uh, whatever I'm teaching you guys as always for your benefit um, to you know play well in Utah Macross at the same time to preserve as much time as you can uh, in your daily lives uh, away from Utah Macross because you know you don't want to end up spending too many hours on Ultime Macross uh, trying to figure out things. That's what I am here for. I'm here to waste my time for you guys' sake. <laughs> so anyway guys, um, with all that said, this is very very important why you should not miss out on this current event. So anyway guys, let's talk about the other thing that's what, that you need to take note of from this current event that you shouldn't miss out on which is basically the fact that they have included a ton load of Zodiac medals as rewards um, to obtain from the reward list. Normally what you will see at the end of the reward list is only a few batches of you know zodiac medals like this which is this is basically what you would normally see at the end and that's it so 3000 zodiac medals will be the end of the reward list and then you won't be able to attain anything else but this time round because i don't know maybe because they're trying to uh, attract players to play um because they know that you know older players will probably skip out on this event because they already obtained the episode plates before and they don't really want to put in more time to playing the, the event because it's a waste of time. So they kind of threw in, uh, well, a whole bunch of six thousand zodiac medals you can obtain at the end of the whole thing. You know, six thousand zodiac medals is equivalent to another five star episode plate you can get from the Chaos Exchange. That's how how insane it is. So <laughs> if you're a new player. This is a very very important thing to grind for uh, especially since you are lacking in terms of 5 star fully evolved episode plates or you know just powerful episode plates in your arsenal. For older players, well getting these extra zodiac medals doesn't actually mean a 5 star episode plate. It could mean you could use these plates for exchange for um, episode plate uh, resources. Um, you know that kind of stuff whatever is available in the chaos exchange that you need uh, besides the episode plates itself you know having a luck based episode plate that is fully evolved and is a five star is also great as well when it comes to high score challenges so take note of that so that's one of the reasons why you should not miss out on this current event um, you might not need to play so um, diligently in the past i guess um, if you are not really aiming for anything else besides the plus 20 luck episode play. So anyway guys, that's all I have to say about this current event. Let's talk about the brand new gacha that is here. And this has never happened before in the history of <laughs> Uta Macross. Uh, considering that now Uta Macross is coming close to 2 years uh, anniversary. Um, so yeah. That, and you know usually the second gacha is relevant to the current event but strangely enough this gacha 
is not relevant at all to the current event. You can tell straight away that the costumes do not match in theme. Ranka does have a nurse outfit. That's what most of us speculated um, to be the second gacha. You know, because Ranka hasn't really gotten her nurse outfit yet. But strangely enough, Dana decided to toss out this one. Now, um, I did post up an, uh, I would say an ratification post in Macross Space Time The Culture because I thought this costume was an exclusive for Uta Macross. Apparently it isn't because it is the costume from a much older Oshare Macross Frontier uh, event. If you guys don't know what that is, basically it is the fashionable Macross um, series where they feature um, the characters from a certain generation of Macross and the illustrators will design very fashionable clothing for the characters to wear and then of course they'll sell merchandise and all that stuff related to the current illustration for that event. So this costume, um, Ranka has worn it in one of the Oshare Macross events um, which was tied with uh, Cheryl Gnome. I will show an image of the the, the set together. So Cheryl and Ranka both wearing the costume dedicated for the event. But strangely enough, on this gacha banner, you can tell, Ranka has Neko Mimis, or rather, if you don't know what that means in Japanese, basically it is cat ears. Um, so yeah, so strange enough, Ranka has cat ears on this costume, which is not seen on the original illustration itself. So what does this mean? So, <laughs> okay, it was promoted on uh, Macross Gatomara Nai where Kawamori-sama actually appeared on the show, um, which was last night basically. Um, and they, they basically announced that this costume has a special feature when it is used on the song uh, Neko uh, Niki, so, which is Cat Diary. Um, so it's, it's one of Ranka's songs. And yeah, the cat ears basically pop up when you use that costume in that song itself. So as you can see, this is the first ever gacha um, that is not related to the current event song. So very strange indeed. I guess this will not be the first, and or rather it's not, it won't be the last. We will see, see of this kind of gacha happen um, for events that are reruns. So. Um, I guess we can look forward to more rerun events in the future because definitely we are going into the new generation of Uta Macross where most of the players have plus 20 luck episode plates and we are starting to obtain maybe 5 to 6 event tickets um, per play during the first event of the month. So anyway guys, we've talked enough of all the special side content of the current game um, event itself. Let's dive into the gacha banner and take a look and see whether Ranka's brand new episode plate is actually worth your singing stones that you somehow miraculously saved up. <laughs> Alright, so very adorable illustration, whoops, um, especially with the um, plush bag, I guess, Valkyrie, the VF25 Messiah. <laughs> very, very adorable illustration. Um, so yeah, so taking a look at the episode plate, the four divas equipable with the plate, 3,393 total score focusing on so very high value and so and also a bit on charm. So this plate is starting to look um, rather promising because of its stat value. Um, center skill S rank, unit's life is increased by 40% up. So I guess this episode plate. It's meant to be used as a center position, but let's see whether it's actually a episode plate that is a high score achiever. So considering that it boosts life, it might not be because um, it's probably looking towards being an episode plate that is more of a, um, I would say a tactical plate because if let's say for example you need missions cleared because you need to survive with a certain amount of HP, this is where Ranka's plate is gonna come in handy. So yeah. Okay, so looking at active skill, yep, it is not a high score achieving active skill. So at 
uh, for 20 seconds you will have uh, easier time tapping notes which is perfect for this current event because um, if you don't know by now uh, Hidano Elixir has pretty tricky, uh, tricky um, notes when it comes to playing on very hard and extreme so the active skill is just perfect for this especially that we have this annoying challenge from this current event basically when you're going through the valkyrie attack phase your notes uh, sensitivity is shrunk uh, it, the, the or rather the, the ring of accuracy is shrunk smaller so you have to be very very accurate in order to not break your combo um, which is what you need to retain to actually uh, clear the missions for this current event because most of them require you to have like a S rank combo and A rank combo that kind of stuff so that's pretty annoying um, so yeah active skill that is useful for this current event so I guess that's the only thing that's relevant to the event other than the fact that the costume and the special appearance of the costume is not related to the event at all uh, I don't know, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm blabbering um, <laughs> out of context here and there once in a while <laughs> so, um, Life skill, okay so life skill is a score and repeat so basically it's a for a long duration song um, for every 30 seconds it will activate and for 7 seconds your score is boosted by 80% up Alright, so sadly to say no special notes attached to it So we have an episode played like this with decent total score and focusing on so With S rank skills all around, I would say this plate is pretty dang useful in some, some aspect because with a life skill like this, it is definitely there to support um, long duration blue element songs um, that require your, you know, handling for high score purposes. So, pretty decent play. So, if you do have the extra singing stones, I would definitely recommend you to try and obtain this plate. Um, it's definitely one of Ranka's best blue element plates out there um, for long duration songs. Alright, so there is one other thing that we need to talk about before we pull the gacha itself which is the appearance rate of the episode plates. Now, there is an episode plate all right, that is within this list. Let's go take a look at it or rather we, let's take a look at the name of it. So, um, this one which has the big rate up. As you can see, all the other plates here have 0.462% chance of appearing while this one has a 0.833% chance of appearing so yeah you probably might see it appear during my pool later so let's try doing the pool first and see how if I can explain it with a visual um, appeal from my own personal pool so guys I'm gonna do one single template pool for this banner even though it is my waifus I really wish I could afford to pull more but I have a feeling that I might be able to unlock her costume um, with the help of episode op. So anyway guys, let's do this. One template episode pool and that's it. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. That's it. Okay, so we've got a pretty generic pool. Whoa, we do get a rainbow box, so wow, and five red boxes. So, do we get an evolution? No evolution, so that's it. That we only do get one rainbow box, and hopefully, that is the new episode plate. Hopefully, so wow, we get to see. Woo, I have this plate already, and we are finally going to see it evolve. That's fantastic. So, wow, three red boxes in a row. Wow, I did not expect another duplicate of Min Mei's swimsuit plate. So that's fantastic. Let's skip the common stuff. Here we go, the fourth red box. Oh, we do get a new episode plate for this banner. So that's pretty fantastic. Okay, skipping the common stuff once again. Alright, here we go. Okay, we do get more luck on this episode plate. I do have it fully evolved already. Here we go, the only rainbow box. 
Yo, I got the new plate. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was not expecting this. And in fact, I didn't even get the episode plate that has the 0.8% chance of appearance. That's pretty baffling. <laughs> okay, so I will probably have to use an image um, here, somewhere here. Hold on, let me just look through all the content. So I do have enough points for Cheryl's swimsuit costume as well. Pretty fantastic. And all the posters because of the new episode plates. Alright, so I'm going to show you an image of the episode plate that I was talking about. That has a 0.8% chance of appearance. This is the episode plate. Now, if you get this episode plate, the only way you can actually, um, you know, go into the episode plate to power it up um, is basically in the Utahime tab. So let's go into the Utahime tab. I'm going to show you guys based off an old episode plate like this one, um, which has no stats at all. Yes, this episode plate that you will get from this gacha banner will have no stats at all. So let's take a look. So under the Utahime tab where we are currently at, go into ep the episode list. Okay, because the plate belongs to Ranka, we're going to look for um the the costume that it belongs to ranka so yeah okay so i'm gonna show you an old one so i'm gonna have to scroll to where that plate belongs to and it was second hiko's costume so if you guys recall last year we had an event where basically you could obtain a costume plate like the one that is in this current banner and the plate only uh, has points for the costume no stats at all for whatsoever so you cannot use that episode plate in play so let's see um where are you is it because it's one of the first costumes there we go seikan hiko's costume okay so we're gonna take a look at the plate so here we go this is the plate that i was talking about and strangely enough, why do I have another one that has 900? Wow, okay, I did not know that I have another one. So, looking at this example, as you can see, the plate only has costume points and there's no stats attached to the plate at all. As you can see, on the left-hand side, there is no stats at all, just costume points. So, all I have to do is just power them up and you gain costume points. And you can tell straight away that the costume points that they give is a buttload of points <laughs> yeah so getting those episode plates from the gacha pool itself is not bad um because you can still unlock the costume easily it's just that the plate is just not usable in terms of um using it as a plate for lives for high score and all that kind of stuff so yeah guys that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode plate. Um, you know what it looks like. I've shown you the image. Just pay attention to it. And you know where you can look for the episode plate. Make sure you just go to the designated episode list. And of course, find that costume that the plate belongs to. Tap onto the pink button. Pink button that will lead you to all the plates related to that costume. So it will show you like all these episode plates that have costume points for that particular costume itself. Power up the plate, try and unlock the costume for Ranka's brand new costume. And of course, yeah, hopefully as usual guys, I hope you guys have better luck than I do. Maybe you get to fully power up your episode plate. I only got a single copy of Ranka's brand new episode plate. Um, I don't know, should I do... A review of the costume right here <laughs> okay so let's power this up and as usual once I do unlock the costume you know where you can find the video with the um, you know the performance by Ranka in that particular costume it's all on Macross Place Time Day Culture. Link for the Facebook group is in the description down below as always. And yeah, guys, let's do this. We're going to try unlocking Ranka's 
um, costume right here right now I can unlock uh, Cheryl's Gira Gira Summer Bikini as well but I probably won't do this on uh, this video okay so let's quickly power up all this because uh, this video has been long enough <laughs> okay so I've got all the costume points so we're gonna use the episode ops just to unlock it I hope I have enough one two yeah I can use the medium ones all right so I'm gonna use two large ones we got one just now from Sikan Hiko's costume and of course we have that do we have enough with one yeah we do so I just needed one small one and we can power up the costume um, with enough points so let's do this guys Lovely, lovely. I love how the hair is. <laughs> it looks messy and all that, but it's actually very, very adorable. Alright, so there we go. Unlocking Ranka's costume on the first pool of the gacha. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hopefully you found all the information useful. As always, do let me know by hitting the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys very soon for the next Uta Macross video uh, it's probably gonna be about um, the how I did for the Red Boss event last month <laughs> I I need to make that video soon because well the next Red Boss event is coming soon and you probably might want to get started preparing for it soon I don't know how many times I said soon already so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys you know what, what I'm going to say. Bye! <laughs>